Hello everybody, it's Mama Charlotte here. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video on this YouTube channel. Don't even start right now because I don't want to hear it. I know I've been gone for a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. I just, ha I haven't been like in the vibe of making YouTube videos and there's it's a weird reason. It's been like one of those situations where I didn't, it's not like I didn't know what to post. I just kind of wasn't in the vibe of making YouTube videos. So first off, I have a lot of like stuff to talk about in this video, but I do have a main topic. I do want to talk to you guys about uh, and it's a lot more serious than anything else that I was going to talk about in this video. Other uh, things are just kind of like little updates. Um, first off, I do want to say thank you guys for the feedback on Nikita, the Nikita Dragon video. It seems like it's actually doing pretty decent when it comes to like, you know, feedback and when it comes to people watching it. I'm surprised it got like, it's at 3.6k views still right now. And that's like beyond more than any of my other videos <laughs> can do right now. So thank you. Thank you very much. So you guys are probably wondering... Uh, where have I been? So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to give you guys a first little quick little, you know, update before I start the video. My car is currently in the shop right now, getting the motor replaced with the other motor. So we have a bit of a wait period on that. After that, it's going to get a new, uh, a new battery and it's going to probably get a couple new, more uh, new other things as well. And once I get the car back, I'm definitely going to take very good care of it. And I'm actually really going to put like high end oil in my car. And I want to make sure that when I like mod it up, it comes out great. And trust me, there's gonna be a lot of people, there's gonna be a lot of cool things to come to the channel. And I might even think about making my own car channel, just to let you guys know. That's like a little bit of a, a little tease. I might be making a car channel. So, but into this video, I do want to. I don't want to like take up too much of the intro. I do want to talk about this uh, this uh, uh, um, the situation. Okay, so I did comment on an Instagram post uh, a while back, and it was jazz jennings post if you guys don't know uh jazz jennings is a transgender woman and she's really gorgeous and she is just all around an amazing human being i started watching jazz around the beginning of my transition and i was just watching a lot of her story you know obviously she came out when she was a little girl which i in my opinion i wish i could have <laughs> i really wish i would have known but my dysphoria as a child wasn't ex exactly as strong as hers was Mine was more so like a mentality, more so than like I'm. Oh, I see these boys here, and I don't. I'm not like them, you know. That's that's totally not me. That or maybe I just never like really like you know stood upon anything like that. Maybe I didn't like take like control of myself and understanding of who I am back when I was a kid because I was moved around so much. That might be a thing. Um, but Jazz Jennings recently posted on Instagram about her book being banned all across the country at schools and it blows my mind the sign male at birth at age two i expressed i knew i was a girl at age five i began my social transition and today despite living my life as a proud trans woman my children's book i am jazz is banned all over the country legislators ban the book out of fear that it will recruit or brainwash kids into being lgbtq plus it does not the book is about identity and it helps so many transgender youth learn about their personal self-identity and who they are and it helps families better support their transgender child and friends better support their transgender friend lgbtq plus people belong Allowing us to share our stories creates a more inclusive and welcoming world for all people. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed and mad because Jazz Jennings is such a great woman. She has done nothing wrong. There are people out there that are so horrible. Horrible. You know? And it seems like people like Jazz get like punished all the time because they're just trying to make a difference in other kids' lives. And it's not about having kids come out as trans more so as it is having people understand their people are different that's why i enjoyed about you know jazz jennings is that she just wanted to be like every other woman or every little girl when she was little and i completely completely get it you know as a trans woman i never got to experience life as a trans girl i was only able to experience life as a trans woman because i came out when i was 21 Jazz came out when she was like three. And in my eyes, because of that, it's a big deal. You know what I mean? She was on TV and all that stuff. She, their, her family was so, and you could tell that her family was very insecure about her being trans for a while, her grandma especially. But they all came around to understanding Jazz and, and getting her, you know? So, 
that's one thing I've always liked about Jazz Jennings is that you could just tell her parents weren't trying to get her to transition when she was younger. You could tell everyone had issues with it at first and they all got over it and they all accept it and love her for who she is. And that's the thing about Jazz. She has overcome a lot of snap, but guys, she's been through multiple, multiple debacles with people that don't agree with her, either whether it's on live stream or if it's at a, you know, like a literally a conference of her just talking in front of a, of a crowd of people. I've seen this, you know, throughout my time on, you know, watching YouTube and watching transitional YouTubers. Jazz Jennings has always been one of the most influential trans women, in my opinion, that's ever graced this earth. And she's gone through a lot. I haven't watched a lot of, I used to watch a lot of I Am Jazz. Unfortunately, I don't really have TV, so I don't really watch it unless I buy it. And I bought it in like a couple of seasons, but I haven't been watching her recently. And I really do want to watch it because she, her, her I Am Jazz show was really cool to watch, to be honest with you. It's really awesome to you know, stick around for her to see what her life's about, you know? Obviously, when it comes to like shows and stuff like that, you know, some of them are not authentic exactly, like meet the, the, the Kardashians and stuff like that. They're not exactly authentic, but you know, Jazz Jennings, they, they did say that her show was authentic. Um, obviously we all know Jennings is not Jazz's last name officially. I don't know what it is. And even if I did, I wouldn't say it. So Jazz Jennings and her family have been like put, uh, posting more, more stuff. I, I actually follow Jazz's brothers on, uh, Instagram, both of them. <laughs> I think they're really funny and they're really cool. And I think their family is legitimately goals when it comes to families. They are goals. Jazz, you, what you're going through right now, girl, this is, this is not gonna last forever. You know what I mean? It really blows my mind that there are some people that get really butthurt over one book. A book help is, this book is to help navigate someone that's going through what Jazz is going through. It's not about getting someone to be like Jazz. It's like, it's about getting someone that's like her to understand and to be comfortable with herself and understand that there, there's nothing wrong with being different it's like a book coming out about a paraplegic life and accept yourself that you don't have a leg you know or accept yourself that you can't walk or accept yourself because you're missing an arm it's about navigation it's not about other kids wanting to be paraplegic same thing with the the, the trans stuff it's not about persuading someone to be trans it's about Someone that's trans to be understanded, uh, under, understand it. <laughs> that's horrible. Understood. I, uh, you know, I, I read a little bit. I read her book. It, it's a little children's book, guys. <laughs> it's nothing. It's not like a chapter book. It's not here to tell you like the ins and out of being trans. It's, it's very basic. It's a cute book. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the little art that, that she has in that book is kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if she created the art herself or it was just another illustra uh, illustrator. Uh, but they, whoever did the illustration in that book, bravo. <laughs> I love the, it's so cute. In my opinion, it's the cutest book. And it's not because I'm trans that I'm saying this. It's cute because it's coming from someone that had grown up being trans and understanding herself at a young age that she was able to throw that up towards people. Cause people like me, I couldn't make a book about that. I couldn't do it because I never got to experience life as a trans girl. I never got to experience sports in high school and how it would have affected me. And you know, in fact, let me just give you guys one little thing right here. Okay. Just so you guys understand when I was, I think two years into my transition, two and a half years, I got asked by one of the girls if I wanted to be part of this girl's softball team. And you know what they said? Or you know, or you know what I said? <laughs> I don't know if I would be accepted. It was my hometown. You know, for all I know, since I'm Charlotte and a lot of people from my hometown know who I am, they're probably gonna be like, this is unfair because Charlotte is used to be this person and Charlotte played baseball. You know, the, uh, in my opinion, I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be as good. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. If you were to throw me in high school and say, play the women's sports, uh, those women, every bit of the women would probably be way better than I am. Trust me. A lot of people think that just because a trans woman or a trans girl used to be a guy, that they're going to be automatically better than a woman. That is sexist in a half, in my opinion. And any woman who feels that way that... That, um, oh, well, of course they're going to be this. Of course they're going to get number one. They're, they're dudes. You know what I mean? Not every single trans woman was a bulky ass dude at one point. 
You know what I mean? There are people like me that had like the lowest of the lowest totem poles <laughs> when it came to guys. So when it comes to girls, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of girls, like uh, like natural born girls, that would fucking kick my ass in sports. And I mean, I'm I know I'm just like kind of drifting off to if like a uh, I know I'm just kind of drifting off into like a whole different subject. But this is kind of stuff that like Jazz had to go through when she was younger. She had to go through this ex. ex uh, um, unacceptance of sport being able to play with the girls in the sports uh in the soccer team uh having to use the restroom at the nurse's office rather than the actual you know bathrooms god knows what i bought what i would have had to do if i came out when i was younger see i, I wouldn't have known but then at the same time would i have been as strong-hearted as i am now i don't know <laughs> All I know is that now I'm a little more stronger for myself that I could hold myself up. I don't know how I would have been when I was younger. Maybe I would have been a lot more, um, it would have been harder for me to come out because whatever. But Jazz Jennings, what's so bad about this book? There's nothing. In this book, it doesn't teach people how to be trans. It teaches trans people how to be happy. That's that's what I would. That's what I would say. All these parents that come over here and, and complain. And, and you know what? Complain on my video. I don't care. Use the comment section. Use the dislike button on me. I don't care. Complain. In my opinion, what is going on with Jazz's book is effed up. This girl deserves to have her books, her book in schools. Maybe it, maybe teachers might not, you know, maybe it might not be something that the teachers might want to, you know, might want to talk about to their children, uh, to their students, but have it in the library. Have it available for someone like that. You know, in an LGBTQ section or something of your libraries. In my opinion, have that book out there for people. It's not about teaching people how to, to, to be trans. It's not about that. And I think inside of my head and inside of Jazz's head, I don't think Jazz is trying to get anyone manipulated. I think at the end of the day, Jazz is just trying to make um, people, her experience in school, a lot easier for other trans people. Because God forbid what some people have to go through in school. I'm sure there's a fuck ton of shit that some of these trans kids have to go through. There's so many extremist stuff in school nowadays, even back then. God knows how people would treat other people. But when, uh, when you have an understanding of something, people don't seem to use it, treat it as foreign. I think that's the thing about us as human beings. You know, people see trans people as gender benders. <laughs> hey, it's not real. <laughs> How does it work? You know, that's, I, I think in a way, um, people are just as scared of what they don't know. And the, the book is about familiarizing people. Even if you're not trans, you want to read the book. Like I said, it's not for persuading you to be trans. Maybe it's for other people to understand that there's pe other people that are different in the world. And you know it's crazy. I went from um, I went from talking about OnlyFans in my last video to talking about children's books. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate, but uh, anyways, I do want to let you guys know that Jazz's book, in my opinion, it should be in schools. I'm 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 totally upset that she is going through this situation. Poor thing. And in my opinion, I want to like I just kind of like in my opinion, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put. A link down in the description for people that want to buy their kids this book and for understanding and acceptance so i'm going to put the link down in my youtube description for people that do want to buy this book maybe not buy, not be for you but maybe for your your cousin your little cousin or your niece or your 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 nephew or your anybody It'll be down in the description below. I'm, I'm, I want to help out Jazz. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys understood what I said in this video. If, if you guys did, leave it a like. If you guys can please subscribe to Come Charlotte Church today. Y'all know what it is. Subscribe to Come Charlotte Church today. Let's get the 10K subscribers by the end of this year. I know we can do it. We've been moving pretty slow, but a little bit faster. Thanks, guys, for 8K subscribers, by the way. And thank you guys for just being there for me while I've been on this hiatus in a way. I will be back. There'll be a lot of stuff. We actually have a lot of big things coming to the channel. So I want you guys to be keeping your eyes open because there's a lot of shit coming. A lot of shit. Anyways, guys, I love you guys lots like Tater Tots. I'm Mama Shark. You guys are my Charlotte Tears. And you guys have a great day. Love you guys lots like Tater Tots.